Hey everybody, welcome back to chapter two of Us Dust Falls. Oh my god. Ooh. I told you I wasn't gonna hurt anyone. But you are really pushing your luck. Dale, get the duffel bag. We're out of here. <sighs> okay, thank you. Oh my god. I thought I'd lost you. Me too. My legs are shaking. Vince, you can't try to fight these people. I know why you did it, but you just can't. I can't let them take you. I mean, I was terrified, but I can't just let them take you. Who knows where they were going to take you? I have to keep you and Zoe safe. I have to, you know? Brave is good. Dying is bad. Okay? Yeah, okay. Daddy, did they hurt you? Oh, sweetie, I'm fine. <sighs> Two days from now, we'll be in St. Louis, and it'll be like none of this ever happened. Oh! So they don't actually have any bullets in the gun, then. They're just bluffing. Guys, we're not going anywhere. Fuck! It's Dante. He'll get us out of here. You got more faith in him than I do. But Joyce's gun does have bullets. This is Sheriff Romero of the Two Rock County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a class three felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, your dipshit's broken to my house with my goddamn wife home. Jay, check they can't get in the back. You people are smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Keep the ringer on in there. I'm gonna call you to negotiate your surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Dante will get us out. He's too strong-minded for his own good half the time. But he gets things done. <laughs> Let's just stay calm then, okay? We don't have to agitate the people inside and... You sound like you know him pretty well. It's a small town. Everyone knows everyone. Wonder if he knows Ash isn't here tonight. Ash is your son? Yeah. Best thing I ever did. Wait, are they like exes? We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler, I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves- Don't say it. Romero's impatient, and these small town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. Is someone gonna get that? The police are gonna catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, Shh. I'm speaking my mind. Enough! Next person who talks is going in the back office. There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. And say what? <laughs> Calmly defy him. Uh, uh, why not? This is dumb. Hey guys. What do bank robbers eat for dessert? Uh, heist cream. You get it? <laughs> You're an idiot. You know that? I mean, it was kind of funny. I see. He gets it. You just don't have a sense of humor. All right, that's it. Into the back. Wow. No. Don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay? Make sure nobody answers the damn phone. 
We need to just stay put, though. They already have the whole place surrounded. And we know that they don't have bullets in their gun. Keep your mouth shut. And don't make me come in here again. What was that all about? There's a second phone. If the sheriff calls again... Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? Uh, it's no good. It's too tight. All right. How do we do this? Friction, maybe? Or we use scissors. Or we use scissors. Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? Wait, if the sheriff calls again, it's gonna ring. It's gonna make a sound. That's not good. We have to call them. Whoa, whoa, dude. That's it. They can it's hear. Fall. Try to cover the noise. I'll cough. On three. One. Two. If it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Can you reach the scissors? If it stops ringing, isn't that gonna be a bigger sign that something's wrong? Quick! I'll block the door! I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the Sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... my family. We're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Now, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. I get it. So what can you tell me about what's going on in there? My dad's sick? Ooh. This could have big implications for the people here. Mmm. There's a little girl in here. But which of this is actually, like, relevant information for the police, though? I feel like it has to be this one. Although, I kind of worry about Jay as well. But yeah, like, I don't think any of this is really... Oh, but my dad being sick. Medicine? Med- Oh, uh, we gotta say it. The people doing this? There's three of them. The manager said they're the, um... The Holt boys? a few things. Yeah? Like what? It's a long story. But tonight's gonna be the end of it. What else? You're good. Keep going. Uh... Okay, don't hurt Jay, please. The youngest brother, the one they call Jay? He's just a kid. I don't even think he wants to be here. Probably bullied into it, but listen, it's good to identify a weak link for us and, and for you. Uh oh. Hey! They've blocked the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. Okay, I gotta say, uh, my dad's sick. Look, uh, my dad, he's got brain cancer. He isn't hurt exactly, but with all the stress. <laughs> I hear what you're saying. We'll get him out, okay? I'm almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. Sooner than you think. Just keep your eyes open, okay? I thought we needed medicine or something, but... Oh. Uh... Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. <laughs> keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. <laughs> what did you tell him? Actually, not too much about you guys. Nothing. I didn't have time. <laughs> You're lying to me. He's not. They barely said hello. These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him. And he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a dumb idea. Let go! Yeah, it was. You should never have come to Two Rock. <sighs> I think you guys gotta chill out and just wait for the police to do stuff. Just... Don't try to do much more. 
It's just changing the situation too much. Hoping the police will have better resources than so, us. let's see. Twelve years as a flight mechanic. Pretty high up. Then, one day, bam. Bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. My advice? Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. I'm the fall guy. Rent for one year? That's nothing. That's barely enough money. More like rent for 10 years, at the minimum. You can stick your gag order oh! your pen right up your ass. Oh, so you do have a little fight left in you, huh? <gasps> Shit. Two days before Desert Dream. <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. I'm probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh... Yeah, yeah, I just... I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like, dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by seven. I'm just gonna pick up China. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... Is this whole story gonna take place within the motel? I wonder. <sighs> I can't believe I fell asleep. Alright, big man. You got until 7 to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? We need to be comfortable. Okay. This is anything like the cold air unit on a flight deck. There should be... Well, this is obviously alien technology. <laughs> cool, ethereal, thermostat control. It's AC by Vince. Alright, good job. <sighs> but yeah, like, I don't think... If you didn't make the mistake, some then dreams never get off the ground. The money is not enough. I have to feed my wife and my kid and potentially my dad. Yeah, we're good. We're good. What's next? And you're telling me it only paid for one year rent? Uh, do the dishes. I'm a good husband. I'm doing my chores. Just really stressed all out right. right now is all. Dish is done. Good, good, good. All right, on the home stretch now. Okay, what's important? What's important? I'm not being timed here. Pack photos. Pack the photos, I guess. No, I got a lock. <laughs> oh, look at that little face. Hmm. Ah, oh, seems like a lifetime ago now. 
It's not even my fault. Daddy! Hi, Pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Really gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help Mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite. Chinese. Mmm, <laughs> shrimp. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. Awesome. You took care of everything. Yeah. Hey, Buster, of course I did. Vince's moving company at your service. Why, yes, <laughs> we do accept tips. That might be taking it too far. Oh, I don't know. I'll be living on handouts if I mess up this new job. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? New Make job. sure you empty the stationary cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. <sighs> I'll get her ready for bed Will you get noodled up. Stressful, but it feels like we're managing somehow. <laughs> As a unit. Come on. Let's get your jammies on. <laughs> so, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my, my star lamp. And I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently about something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but the thing about dreams is maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like what? Like about the stuff you're stressed about? When we're scared of something, like the dark, our imagination can make it seem a lot worse. Mm -hmm. But when the sun comes up, you realize there was nothing to be afraid of. Until it gets dark again. Try and get some sleep, okay? Mm -hmm. Love you, all the way to the moon. I want mommy. <sighs> Mommy needs some rest too, dear. Ugh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? Mommy! <sighs> Coming, love bug. Was that something I could have changed? Didn't feel like it. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. 1998 phone. New message. Oh no, gonna miss your sweet little smile, Cupcake. Who's Bruce? One last drink? Ooh. Why did the lights go out? It's a power outage. You get them all the time here. No outage. The damn sheriff. Dale, keep a lookout. I need to get the hell out of here. Jake, take her upstairs and keep her quiet. Okay, that's the desk. Hairpin could be useful. now. Oh, they're not even tying me up here. These three kids don't really know what they're doing. Not getting out that way. There's one out back, but it doesn't work. I don't think I should try the so door. It's gonna lead back into... Transfer switch. 
Yeah. Go do it. Hey. Hey. Oh, the hairpin. I can't believe that actually worked. Wow. You see anything? Nah. It's too dark out there. I can barely see us. Get some rope. We should tie up the hostages. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back door. I gotta get my dad and my kid out of here at the minimum. Zoe's up there. She's scared of the dark. They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. We know each other by names now. Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Just keep quiet. Let me think. There's gotta be a window upstairs that we can climb out of. Zoe, it's me, Pumpkin. It's Daddy. Don't make noise, though. They just let the kid wander around. Listen first. We have to stay real quiet. There. That one came from the hall. Why are we hiding? Because I don't know what else to do. Hey, it's me. It's Vince. I'm coming in. Daddy! <sighs> Thank you, kid, for keeping my kids safe. I didn't hurt her. I promise. I know. I hurt. Zoe, you okay? Daddy, I, I don't want to be here anymore. I know you said not to be scared, but I am. Mm. Well, when I told her about the dream thing, that mattered. <sighs> I am too, Pumpkin. It's okay. Let it all out. Do you think they're going to try to come in? What's your brother's? Oh, the police. I like Jay. I'm pretty sure. Any minute now. I don't want to go to jail. Then maybe you'd better hide. Listen, I'm going to get us out of here before... before the lights come back on. Okay? With Mommy and Grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. The window. The window! Really? Throw the blankets down? It's only the second floor. What? Why would you go this way again? Oh, the moment they realize you're not in the back room, you're done. You guys all right? Well, one at a time. Oh, you found her. Thank God. Where are the holts? I think they went out the back. We need to get out of here. Give me your wrists. I, oh, this is dangerous. You should just get your daughter out you first. Right? No. Are you? Dude. Down. Don't shoot. We're hostages. Stay down and don't move. Where are the perps? Where'd they all go? They barely have a gun. Shit. Run for the door. I'll cover you. you gotta fall back. Go. Oh my gosh. Oh. Jesus Christ. Come on, it's now or never. We won't make it. 
We have too many people here. Oh, no, we... They know we're here. The police know we're here. So as long as they don't shoot here, it's fine. But if we run now... No, no. Vince, we need to go. It's too dangerous. I'm not dying in this goddamn motor lot. Oh my god. Wow. You doing? Grandpa! Ah, oh, Dad! Sanchez is hit! I knew this was a bad idea. The sheriff made them come hold in. Fire. Repeat, hold your fire! I said 30 fucking yards! You try that again, and every last one of them leaves in a body bag! Ooh, this is gonna be... Yeah, the whole story is gonna be about this holdout at the motel. Ooh, that's tense! Dad! Jim! Jim, can you hear me? Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. Vince? Is Grandpa uh, hurt? I don't know, honey. Uh, uh, oh, his brain. Jim, are you okay? Uh, Dad, he needs an ambulance. Get him an ambulance. Okay, please let him out. He looks all right. Maybe just a concussion. Uh, it's not just that. He's got a brain tumor. Uh, if he got hit in the wrong spot or something. Oh, shit. He's still with us, Grandpa. Oh, God. This is... This is all my fault. If I hadn't been so hell-bent on making amends... What? That's hey, the part you're... Are you with us? Sorry about? Uh, make sure he's clear, right? Forget... Don't blame him anymore. Not right now. Jim? Uh, do you know where we are right now? Arizona. Sam Bluff Motel. No, it's called the Desert Dream. That was the old name before I bought it. I'll, I'll be oh. alright. I, I just need a, a minute to, to get my... Easy now. He needs to see a doctor. Wait, Paul recognized them before, right? When we walked into the motel? That might be something then. Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. Mm. They're so chill here. Oh my gosh. What? No, no, stop. You listen to me. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. Huh? That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? <laughs> Since when? Since now. Look, you boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. First, I need a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's. Veggie delight. <laughs> Give me 20 minutes. Good news, folks. One of you's going home. Zoe, please. Please, everyone, can you please let my daughter go? Oh. Finally got confirmation from the movers. Tomorrow morning. Good to go. Hmm. At least we get one last California sunset. Oh, they both smoke. Ew. Thirteen years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. <laughs> My mom. I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. But you know what? <laughs> I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Uh, 
Is there anything more stressful than moving? Not even thinking about the same thing. Ooh. I think we should talk about it, though. I hear divorce is stressful. <sighs> anyway, tonight is our last night. And it seems so long since we, you know. Mm. So, how about we make it one to remember? I don't know about that. It's gonna eat away at me forever. Oh, by the way, you got a message. Something about Cupcake? Why did you... Vince, you've been reading my messages? No, she's deflecting. This is true, but I don't want her to take the topic away though because I want to know who Bruce is. But okay, I'll humor you. I don't need to explain to you though. I was checking to see if it was the movers. I didn't say you could spy on me. She's changing it. She's changing the subject. Some things are private. Like having an affair? It'll wake Zoe. Hello? Well, thank you. It's been nice working with you, too. Oh, I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. It's... forget about the guy, just... oh, whatever. Good luck to you, too. Bye. Someone from the university. The one you just left an hour ago? What can I say? My colleagues miss me already. Colleagues like Bruce. Yes, like Bruce. Why does it even matter? Daddy? <sighs> Zoe. Hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. Mm, this is tough. Daddy? Yes, sweetie? We'll always live together, right? You, me, and mommy? Kids are sensitive. They can feel things. I don't know. I don't know. I, I want to say yes, but... Oh, my God. Why would you ask that? Hannah's parents used to argue. And now they don't get to live together anymore. Don't worry, honey. We're not doing that. <sighs> we still gotta talk properly. Michelle? We're not done. So, uh, this Bruce dude. Hmm? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. You think I'm stupid? Hmm. <sighs> Okay, this is an important part, too. Is he just one-sidedly coming on to you, or is it reciprocated? I feel like from her response so far, she's hiding something. We already know the answer. But we're forcing her to say it. Is he... you know, do you like him? He's clever. We got on well professionally. Academia is competitive. It's rare to make friends. Clever. Professional. Looks like Patrick Swayze. I know the type. Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. We've got a long few days ahead of us. Let's forget. Easy for you to say. No, thank you. No. You're not being truthful. You can't just... Something about it doesn't add up. 
You've been working late, more than usual. Because I... Because I'm changing schools. I need to leave on a high note. You know, last week you said that you had to stay in great papers. But you came back smelling of... of wine. And perfume. Look at me. Vince. I know things have been hard. This last year wasn't a great one for us. But nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? I'm thinking about Zoe, and I'm also thinking about how this is going to be our last day in California. No matter what happened before, their contact should be cut off from this point forward because we're moving to a new city, back to St. Louis and all that. Uh, like, I'm just trying to think if I was in this position, I have a six-year-old and whatever has happened has happened and it's over and she wants to move on like would i be no i can't i can't i can't michelle every bone in my body tells me you're sleeping with this guy now you're being ridiculous all right then give me your cell phone what i want to have a look at your messages i only have saw the one something to hide no of course not so what's the problem What's the matter? It was a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, God. I was right. I don't know what to tell you. It just happened. Okay, we've been in a at least six year marriage. Things were stressful. I, I don't. Is this? Can we recover from this? I I don't think it's a definite no, but it'll have to begin with coming clean entirely. Okay, th this is no. Oh my god. How long has this been going on? At the end of January. The semester party. That explains all the working late. Stumbling around when you get back, showering before bed. It was stupid. After the accident, you were so... Neither of us were in a good place, and he was... I don't know. He was there. This is painful. I, okay, don't take this seriously, but I have read and I feel like instinctively I do agree a little bit that it's a very big generalization, but I have read that when men cheat, they still love their current partner, but they're also like interested in the new person. But when women cheat, they've fallen out of love with their current partner and that's why they're cheating. Oh! <laughs> If that's the case, then it's over for us. Okay, the affair is only over because we're moving. Has he been here? In our apartment? Did the two of you- No. No, of course not. So where then? Does it really matter? I just want to know. It was his place. Always at his place. Look, it was just sex. That's honestly all it was. <sighs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> If it was just sex, why did you never think about our daughter the whole time? What about Zoe? 
Did you even think what this could do to her? I didn't want to hurt anyone. But you did. <laughs> Michelle. Multiple times. That's not an accident. That's a conscious choice. I felt so rejected. You haven't touched me in months. You haven't looked at me. When was the last time we even watched a movie together? When you lost your job. This wall went up. You pretend everything's fine. That you don't need to talk, but the wall just gets higher and higher, brick by brick. And I missed you, okay? Her wording didn't exactly sound like she was blaming me. She didn't say, it's your fault, I only did this because of you. But... Uh, I can imagine that that would have been what's happening too, because the whole... The gag order is weighing on my mind and... I'll say sorry for that, but only that. I wasn't trying to build a wall. I just... I didn't realize it was affecting you. I'm sorry. Look. We've been together for 12 years. 12 years. We've made it through a lot. I just want to know that we can make it through this too. You don't get to ask that. Lately you've been so... Absent. I hate seeing you like this, Vince. So this is all because of me? Of course not. No. I just wish we could talk about what you're going through. Whoa, you're spinning the focus to me now? No! Hey, we're not done talking about you yet! Oh my god. Sometimes, it's just easier for me to work things through in my own head. But like that's right what now. I'm here for. You can talk to me, whatever you're feeling. We can work through it together. Not right now. But we can't let this thing follow us to St. Louis. It will taint every bit of happiness we have. This is a very short conversation that I'm not ready to like make this life-altering choice on. But okay, this was two days ago. Now we've been traveling together to St. Louis, so I feel like we probably forgave her. But it's more, even if I choose it, in my mind it's more of a... I will try and see if this is really what I want first without outright just being like, Oh my god, I immediately want a divorce right this moment. If I can't do it later, I, I just can't, okay? But I... I'll give it a go, and I, I need to hear more. I need... Ah! Uh, do I want to hear more, though? Like, you know, I don't want... I don't want to know the details, okay? All the details that Vince wanted to ask earlier. How many times is it over? Ugh. This is painful. If I do this... If I forgive you... You swear it won't happen again? Twelve years. I promise. Never. I, I don't think I could even kiss her today. Or, or the, for the next week. Or even the next month. Don't even talk about kiss. I, if, can I even hug you? I don't know if I can. Ugh. Vince? I'm worried about your dad. Head injuries, bad enough on their own. But if he's got something up there pushing against his brain... How's he doing? In pain. But he wants Zoe to be the one sent out. And Vince, he's right. We've seen what these people are capable of. Please, just get her somewhere safe. Okay, I got your veggie pizzas. We want to get them while they're hot, so send me a hostage. Come on, old man. You're going for a walk. Uh, not me. Please. T take Zoe. I'm... Uh, well, uh, there's nothing wrong with me. 
I don't care who goes, but only one of them. Sorry, Dad, but I think this is an easy choice for me. Just thinking about, you know, a lot of things like total amount of time left and all that. I'm, I'm sorry, Dad, but I think we're all in agreement, though. Even Dad wants to send Zoe out. It's gotta be Zoe. She's seen enough for one night. Fine. Take her out, grab the food, come on back. You can argue I'm that she's not in immediate danger and that my dad is bleeding from the head, I but know this is still. Scary. But you're gonna have to be a brave girl out there, okay? I will. Come on, kiddo. Hopefully they'll want more pizzas later. Hey, look, you dropped this. <laughs> Her name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know they can see in the dark. Thanks. Okay, they're coming out. Stay right where you are. Got eyes on two hostages. One male, one female child approaching from the front of the building. Over. Daddy, is Grandpa going to die? No. For for today, okay. I I don't. She doesn't need to know this for today. The answer's no, because I'm here, and you know what I am. An aircraft mechanic. A cheater. You're supposed to say superhero. Anyway, I promise, no one from our family is gonna die. He needs medical attention fast, though. That's far enough. I'm Sheriff Romero. I guess you must be Vince. Best if we make this quick. Hang in there, Zoe. Be brave for me, okay? I don't want to be brave. I want to be with you. Well, how about you stay with me? Put the kid in the vehicle. Stay with her. <sighs> Should we get her away from the scene, just in case? Um, Daddy, please, don't go! I have to, Pumpkin. But what if you don't come back? I will, I promise. Oh god, that sounds like a- no, that sounds so- I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm gonna be fine, Zoe. You'll see. We'll all get out of here and be back in the car in no time. When we get to St. Louis, can we still go see the arch? Oh, you bet. In fact, we can drive straight there. Hey, hurry it up! Come on, kid. <sighs> Do you guys want more pizzas? Give him the food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. But I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. Hang in there, buddy. We're rooting for you. Now pick him up and don't do anything stupid. Hey, don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas. Whoa, we gotta take the pager out. It's in the napkins. They're gonna use that. Hey, it's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. Well, what do you know? A cop kept his word. Pizza ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. You do. <sighs> I really hope you're right. I spent 10 years saving up for this place. 
Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. Insurance. <sighs> Not the walls. It's what happened within them. Okay, nobody died yet, okay? So it's fine, it's fine. It's not haunted or anything. Oh, oh Dad. Vince, is Zoe okay? She's fine. How's your head? Throbbing, but I think I'm gonna live. Good. So, did you meet the sheriff out there? Yeah, you could say that. What's he like? Don't say anything, okay? Especially since we know Dad is a bit of a hothead. Seems like he's got a handle on things. I think. We'll see. Won't well, really know until the shit hits the frying pan. You want my take? Steer clear. Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff? Ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. Yeah, that was the impression I got when we went to his house, too. He didn't seem what to care doing? about his wife that much. I'm counting out cash. Jay, you gonna eat? <sighs> Not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. We need some goddamn food. Can we have some? Vince, can I count on you? I mean, that's a very like... And then we just heard the thing about how he might not be that great. Uh, just say yes for now. It doesn't mean anything if we say maybe. Hey, you want to share that with the rest of us? They took from me a black book. Need you to find it. Wait, that's um, not relevant. Nope. Don't think I do. That's not relevant to us getting rescued. Are you serious? What Are is it? Just deaf? search their huh? stuff. No, you can't have any. Well, there we go. Sheriff is just all about himself. What if I'm caught? Try making friends with them. What do you mean we can't have any? There's six pizzas. For us. So back the fuck off. You asshole. Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I'll eat from the vending machine. No. I said no. The answer is no. Wow. Show this guy's super volatile. I don't want to show him respect, but the man in pizza doesn't seem like... Like, I, don't I think he's gonna sh freaking point a gun at me. And something about... The sheriff wanted me to make friends with him. Okay, if we become friends, maybe he'll give us pizza. Oh, this is so, like, subservient. I hate this. Hey, how about we just do what we're told, huh? What the hell, man? We're all hungry. Well, they need their strength. We can eat when we're free. When did you start giving two shits about us? Never. Don't get the wrong idea. I don't think jokes work on this guy. You let one of us go. That counts for something. I really don't care what you think counts for what. Well, I don't care what you think. Giving you problems? I think you care. Nah, something counts. I got this. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stay quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. <laughs> Never thought of it like that. What you don't get is, this ain't us. We needed money, but it's not like... Tyler, he built shit. You know, Jay's into nature. Me? Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but I'm getting a job soon. There's this girl I got here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit, I got no idea. Jessica, huh? This girl, Jessica, you want to tell me about her? No, 
I don't want to fucking tell you about her. <laughs> She's none of your goddamn business or anybody else's. In fact, don't ever say her name again. Hey, I was just trying to, you know... Well, that went well. Be my friend. Go fuck yourself, asshole. Whatever. Enjoy the pizza. I don't think pizza's happening. Too transparent. <laughs> oh, I wasn't hungry anyway. If we told the joke or something, maybe he would have been a bit better. It's not there. The book has nothing to do with us getting rescued, all right? It's his crimes or something. You got my helicopter? Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk about why you picked my house. Face to face, out front, where there's no deal. This guy's dirty. What's he playing at? Some kind of trap? <sighs> Maybe. But right now, we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. You mess with us, it's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. Pizza boy. You and I are going for a stroll. I hate this guy. Hey, tell Dante he better get us out of here. The cop's dirty. What's new? You have to hold me so tight. It's not my fault your neck's so fat. I'm coming out. God damn. I can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. Let's keep him happy. You're almost there. Just keep a cool head. Mm -hmm. Cool head, right. You sound like Tyler. Come on, please make it back. Guess who? Dale Holt. I was expecting your brother. Merry fucking Christmas. Vince. Didn't think I'd see you again. I don't so think the soon. kids know about the black book. Well, that's reassuring. We didn't take the black book. All we took was the cash, right? Mm. You know. You were small time before today. That ugly assault a couple summers back. <laughs> so petty theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Oh, God. Not the lemonade. <laughs> anyway, I believe you have something of mine. Yeah, your money. They don't know. Not the money. My black book. Where is it? What the fuck are you talking about? Don't play games with me. One step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. He doesn't I care told about you me. Already. I don't know anything about that. Have it your way. Dude, the sheriff barely cares about me. Oh. Yo, whoa, whoa, dude! Whoa, I don't want the kid to die! Uh... Can people inside, if they see that this kid dies, they're gonna kill my wife and my dad and all that too. Oh, uh, this is such a strange... Uh, okay. Sniper! Damn it! Take him out! Oh god. Am I developing Stockholm Syndrome? We're going back inside. Oh. Go. Well, they actually Go. have bullets in their gun. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's got a sniper on the fucking water tower. We ain't getting that chopper, are we? Are they crazy? They were gonna snipe the guy with like 20 hostages inside? Thanks. It's okay. I'm all right. I can't just kill any of those guys because oh. some people here will get hurt. The hostages. 
I can't just let the kid die, even though he's kind of annoying. What's happening? Everyone's okay. Are they mad? Because I was the one who warned Dale. Wow! Wow! Wow, okay! There you go. Who am I the hostages of again? The Holt boys or the sheriff? Both of them. Fantastic. This is getting really tense. End of chapter 2 I value family. Sticks by their family whatever it costs. Oh! Fierce. Unafraid of confrontation and physical danger. That's not true. <laughs> playstyle. Fast reflexes. What? <laughs> is there any other playstyle besides that? Slow reflexes gets everybody killed. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Tyler started with a gun. Tricks Holtz into reaching the office. 91%. Yeah, most people did. Got free, called Dante, skipped the office. These are all majority choices. Chose not to run. Some people chose to run, probably wouldn't have gone so well. It didn't go well even if we didn't run, because of Jim. Jim or Zoe? Ooh, this is a, uh, yeah, 50 50. Yeah, it's tough. But, ugh, it's, it's horrible that I'm thinking about it like that, but Jim... Even if we get him out of here, he doesn't have long, but Zoe has an entire life ahead of her. But... At the same time, you can sort of also metagame it a little bit, because we know that Zoe is alive in current day, so no matter what happens here, she can't die. Plus, you can't kill kids in a video game, okay? That's, that's just how that works. So maybe from that perspective, it would have been better to choose Jim, but... Okay, if you actually gave that situation in front of me, I would choose my daughter every time. My six-year-old. Join the pizza debate. <laughs> Human shield. Vince, Michelle, and injured Jim remain. Yeah, I think these are all majority choices. Seems like it. In the back with the whole cheating thing. Oh god, this is painful. Put Zoe to bed, and then for some reason... Oh, she was still upset because... Was it because of what I said about the dream? It's okay to be afraid versus... Sometimes you gotta face your fears. Yeah, these are... If we mentioned the text message, then we want to keep continuing. Yeah, don't be rude. Let her finish the call. Don't be like a crazy person. Then we confront it. She admitted it, but... Oh, kind of 50-50 here too. Calmly disgusted. Oh, that's actually a very small minority. Surprisingly enough. Well, it's easy, right? Because probably not calmly would be stuff like how many times, like, where did you do it, and all those more provocative things. Oh, forgiving is a minority choice, too. I, I don't know how to feel about that either. I think about my kid, but... I don't know, it really depends on time, just seeing if time can fix things, but man, I... I don't know if I could ever trust my wife again. I don't know. But we've been together for 12 years before, and we have a daughter, so I want to try to make it work, but it really depends on her. It depends on if she wants to make it work. Ooh, okay, pretty tense. That's chapter two. When we come back, we will continue.